What do you guys want to see? Reno, Deathwing, or George? Everybody wants Reno. George is cringe. I'm also a bit cringe, so I think we make a good uh, pair. I'm not even sure what's the best way of playing Reno. Do I go for a golden 4 drop? Do I try to play normally and golden and 5? Stay on 1 or play normal curve? I'll go with the flow. I'll try to like figure out on the spot what's the best play I can be making. I like Selemental start. Seeing Reno hero power is one of the most satisfying things in Battlegrounds. True. Reno hero power is definitely fun. I am sending you back in three, two... What percentage of chat do you read? Close to 100%. I'm not answering to everything because obviously this would make it very weird. But I'm trying to answer to a lot of it. I'm considering buying SBR, selling SBR, selling Selemental, buying the mummy, putting the gems on the mummy. But then I'm awkward for next turn. So maybe the best play we can do is just level and play normally. No rest for the weary. Let's show our guests a good time. Remember when Reno Hero Power was 4 gold? Yup. And then 3 gold? And then, did it go to 2 or did it go to 0 straight? I remember at some point they were like, ah, fuck it, let's make it 0. I just don't remember when exactly that was. It was 2 and then 0, it was never 1 gold. You always sound so depressed saying somebody redeemed the gifted sub. I, I'm not depressed. I'll fake some excitement next time somebody redeems the gifted sub. I love that people think Twitch streamers are depressed because they watch too much YouTube and on YouTube everybody seems like so excited about everything. Mostly. Now Boombot is not for me. No duplicate, no direction. Must be a Reno game. Hmm. Could have put two for a second but I don't know if I could have had the foresight of doing that. The depression was much worse 1.5 years ago. Now he's fine. Spectacular moves out there. I think I was never depressed. And I think people using the word depressed yes. lightly makes fun of the people that actually have some issues. I had some periods in my life, like most people do, where some things were pretty difficult. And maybe I wasn't at my happiest. But I wouldn't say that I was depressed. And again, stop taking stop making it so light. A streamer exposes themselves to the people for like a lot of hours, a lot of days. So you're obviously gonna see them also when they're not super excited. Do you speak English in your daily life? Uh only if I travel. In Romania I, I speak in Romanian. Imagine how hilarious it would be if I would just like go and speak English only to my friends. I would be like, when I enter the room, people speak in English. That would be like very cringe. When are you gonna do a Romanian speaking stream? I was doing some in the past when like nobody was watching me. Then I realized that there's not enough Romanians on Twitch to like stream in Romanian. And if I know English, I might as well stream in English. That was one of those aha moments.
Nice trade, we got a tie. We could have lost this so easily. I conversate with my kids only in Twitch language. Good. Make them play Counter Strike or Valorant from a, a small age. So that when they're 12, they are worth millions of dollars. Actually, don't do that. Also, don't take parenting advice from people with no kids. We could make Leapfrogger work. I want to triple into a 5. If it's a good 5, I'll make it golden. Mitrax is pretty good. I like making Acolyte golden. Mithrax is allowing me to go to 5 and then I can play Frog Comp or whatever else I want because of how many stats I have from playing the Mithrax in the first place. Holy shit, this brand is stacked. Yeah, that's the great part about hitting Acolyte on your, with your body. You saw what happened there, right? I had only one part of Acolyte but it transformed into the second part as well. I have to do this play. We're focusing on Mitrox for a bit. It's the only play that makes sense, to be honest. Let's do, let's do this. So, I went in California, in Los Angeles a couple of times for like BlizzCon and stuff. I went to Texas for a DreamHack and for um, a tournament plus the Grandmaster Summit. And that's it. Oh, also to Vegas once for a tournament. How can I forget about Vegas? And what I like the most is that everywhere I went was different. Even though it's the same country. I know, different states. But I didn't imagine they would be so different. Come to Philly next time we have cheesesteaks. Dude, I want to try one of those. Like, exactly from that uh, state. I tried Philly cheesesteaks outside of it, but it probably is not the same. I like Tank here because it's offering power. Byron enables the Leapers. Byron is really interesting. USA is great to travel to, but not live in. Isn't every country like that? Like, I live in Romania, and if you ask most Romanians, they're gonna tell you it's an amazing country to visit, but not the best to live in. I mean, I'm living in Romania and I like it, but I understand the people that don't like it and why they don't like it. I live in Norway. Bad place to visit, great place to live in. I went to Norway once for a tournament. And I think that the, the money that people that the players spent on food 
for two days, summed up, was higher than like the price pool multiplied by 10. I went to like an average restaurant there, ordered a steak. Okay, it was an, a restaurant serving steaks. And for that price, I expected it to come covered in gold on like a silver platter. It was like a tiny, minute piece of steak, not even properly cooked. I'm a I was like, fuck this. Yes! The Tubi, thank you for the 16 months. I appreciate it. I want to go to 6 and I also don't want to go to 6. I'm accumulating pieces to play some specific comps. Not sure if Bogon is correct. I don't think it's the right place to play Bogon. Let's do this. How do I eat my steak? Uh, medium. Do I travel for other purposes than tournaments? Um, not that often. Like, okay, now there's like no tournaments. Because I'm mostly focusing on my stream and I'm not playing Constructed. And all the Battlegrounds tournaments are online. But in the past I was traveling a ton for Constructed tournaments. By the way, I probably should have kicked to your rat. I got lucky that I hit on Gas Spoiler, but I could have also missed. Um, yeah, I think only recently I've been traveling for leisure, I think they call it. And yeah, it's very different than traveling for business. Like some weeks ago, I went uh, to Paris with my girlfriend. And I've been to Paris like numerous times for like different tournaments and stuff. And basically, what you see when you go to a tournament is the airport, the hotel, the venue, and like one or two restaurants either near the hotel or near the venue, and that's it. No touristic attractions. So, seeing a city just for pleasure is way different than going there. So I realized that even though I visited a lot of places for playing tournaments along the years, I didn't really visit them. Unless I was losing the tournament day one, and then I had all day to like wander around, which happened a couple of times. Okay, more than a couple of times. <laughs> okay, most of the time. I do play your turn and shut the fuck up. Is what most people are thinking right now. Time to kick Acolyte, right? Should have put my call faster. And I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with meat rocks. I legit heard sometimes chess players lose on purpose not to put effort and just go out and visit the city. I never did that. Like, I was very professional. When I went to a tournament, I went to a tournament. I didn't give a fuck about the city. And I was like, not partying, just focusing on my matches. Afterwards, after the tournament, yes, I enjoy myself, but 
When I went to a tournament, I tried my best. Yeah, running Tomb Diver here is making my composition a little bit worse. And yes, I focused a little bit too much on the discussion and a little little on the game. Let's try to win now. So we have triple on tank, but we also have reanimating Rattler, which means I should get rid of Mitrax very soon. Argus is very good for the Tomb Diver because by taunting the Tomb Diver, I give it another way to die quickly. Why not swap Omega and tank? Because I want golden Omega. Tomb Diver golden makes my two rightmost minions golden. I'm gonna Argus Mitrax in the body, but I'm not even sure if I want to keep Mitrax forever. Why don't you taunt something with Anoyo? Because if I taunt this with Anoyo, it's gonna die before Parrot and the Tomb Diver attack. That was my issue there. I wanted to first do that, but then I realized I shouldn't. And we don't even need a module because we're gonna summon another mech from the Buster. It's so many stats here, like, Mitrax is just good, but not great. I think getting another mech would just be better. Omu does not seem happy. Yeah, so like, I'll cut Mitrox if I have a good reason to do it, but right now I don't want to cut it. I like Slinger though. If opponent goes first, it's 25%. Yeah, but then going first is 50, so it's total 12.5% that my Baron dies. I can take those odds. Wow. That's a very annoying board, but I think we have a chance. What I'm doing and playing right now gives me a chance. Funny enough. Yeah, it's my Mitrax that is inting. I need to get rid of Mitrax, it's just not pulling its weight. How much is 6 plus 1? Answer, a dead scabs. Oh my god. I think second Buster is better than second Macau. Wait, actually it's not. Yeah, it can trigger the wrong death rattle and only one of them is golden. Cleave was the pick? Why? Why not Reaper? Because we have millions of stats. Why would we need Reaper? At some point I'll cut Mechanotank for Reaper. But do we need to do it now? Why don't you freeze Kangor? Kangor is incom incompati incompatible with Macau. 
It's either Kyango or Macau, you cannot do both. I mean, you can, but you're running an unnecessary risk then. So you should only do it in very YOLO situations. And this is not one of them. Hard word to pronounce. Incompatible, I think is the word. What's funny is that my minions dying is not a problem because we summon more minions with the Macau and the Baron and the Buster. Like I'm creating new boards as we're speaking. The problem is Deflector getting reset but my Buster is massive. Nice, nice, very nice. One more, and we're getting there. Good fight. Extra large minion coming your way. Pick a new member for your team. We don't need to do anything here. We're in a great spot. I don't want to make any stupid changes. I'm going to go for Reaper next turn. Until then, we're chilling. Golden Macau is like a great upgrade that I could have went for. But not now. Too soon. It's too soon, Executors. Did he get weaker? What is sometimes weird, but I can understand why it's happening. Sometimes people lose a favorable. And then they feel the need to make a change, and by making the change, they make themselves weaker. Pretty strong strategy on Reno, if you get the pieces together. <laughs> 